there's new pressure on the TSA to increase staffing at Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport. Security checkpoints. That's the problem. This after the airport threatened to hire private security. Channel 2 investigative reporter Aaron Diamond live at our airport where one lawmaker said the odds of that happening are now good. Justin, this is quickly becoming a big deal politically. On one hand, you've got the TSA whose budget is capped by Congress. On the other hand, you've got the world's busiest airport that's growing fast enough to tell TSA, keep up or get out of our way. Wouldn't surprise me at all. I wouldn't bet against it. And in an exclusive interview, Georgia Congressman Buddy Carter, who sits on the powerful House Transportation Security Subcommittee, told us the odds are growing that Hartsfield-Jackson Airport will follow through on its threat to kick out the TSA over inadequate staffing at security checkpoints. Well, realistically, it may be better for them to just accept the fact that it needs to be privatized. And, uh, you know, private companies are held accountable. TSA should be held accountable, too, but they're not always as responsive as they need to be. Last week, we broke the news that Airport General Manager Miguel Southwell put the TSA on notice over growing passenger wait times. Through our sources, we obtained this terse letter Southwell fired off to TSA's top brass in Washington. He wrote, the airport struggled with TSA staffing shortfalls in 2015, and the airport is dreading the outcome of summer 2016. Southwell told the agency it has 60 days to get its act together, or the airport will bring in its own qualified private contractors to man the checkpoints. I sensed a lot of frustration in that letter, and I think that the point was made, and if that letter did not get the attention of TSA, I don't think you're going to be able to get their attention. The TSA says it's screening 8,000 more passengers each day at Hartsfield-Jackson than this time last year, and in a statement, a spokesperson told us we recognize that the issues raised in the letter are a concern. Resolving these issues and achieving our common goal calls for a collaborative approach with our industry partners. Now, the process to privatize the checkpoints is a long one, so nothing would happen overnight. But the clock is ticking for TSA to do something, or it will submit an application to TSA under a program that does allow airports to hire private screeners. We're live at Hartsfield-Jackson Airport tonight. Aaron Diamond, Channel 2 Action News.